so, town. Absolutely. Uh, so excited about tonight and uh, just being able to have this uh, this youth, youth experience for uh, for the, the kids of Tallahassee, for the, for the region. Just uh, this is one I've been looking forward to and, you know, to go throughout the state and you know, have over 3,000 kids that have had had the opportunity to be coached by our staff, and uh, you know just uh, all the, the wonderful interactions. But then to, to be able to finish out here at home, it's it's going to be special. And uh, I know our staff our staff's excited about it, the community's excited about it, and that's what it's all about about giving back and uh, you know, working to make a positive impact and continuing to spread the Seminole way. You know, how nice has it been to kind of have this tour finally to be able to get out in the state? meet people, shake hands, and of course run these camps. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all about building relationships. And, you know, I mean, uh, all coaches talk about, you know, wanting to make an impact. They all talk about the importance of, of, of the state. But, uh, you know, we're, we're excited that we've been able to go out there and, and actually do something to, to, to have that, that positive interaction. And, uh, you know, even though it's, you know, second graders to, to eighth graders, just to see the smile on their faces, to see the work that they put in, uh, you know, the, the, the impact that's making, uh, I mean, We've uh, created a lot of Seminole fans out there, and it's been a, it's been a real joy, and uh, you know, it's been a great service for, for our staff to be able to get in these communities and to be able to provide the opportunity. Was it even more important this summer to, to get out and do these camps, especially after last year, not being able to do really anything with the community? Well, I mean, I, th I think when you look at the adversity that uh, you know our state's youth has have, had to go through, I mean, you know, people point to college athletics, and you know the. All, all the different hurdles just to be able to play a game. I um, mean, these kids, you know, there were there were youth seasons that were taken away. There were so many activities. Uh, some kids weren't able to be, you know, in person in school, and those relationships and just all that, all of the interactions that they normally would have, uh, you know, they had to sacrifice. And so, you know, I'm I'm glad that. Uh, we were able to provide a, a, a night and experience, uh, something that's unique to where you know, they get a sense of who we are, and they get to come out and just have fun playing the game that they love. And uh, it's been uh, it's been a real joy. And uh, like I said, tonight's going to be a be a great one. I think we have close to 400 uh, uh, 400 kids that are going to be here, and uh, it's just going to be a, a great experience and a wonderful way to wrap up this this youth clinic and this kind of tour that we've been on. What's been your favorite part of camp? Uh, just you know, seeing the faces and uh, you know, you know, watching, uh, you know, you're watching these kids and when they get instructed, when they get uh, you know coached, and them trying to go out there and, and improve in and, and each drill, and, and you know, to to see the joy that they have, the, the relationships that are that are made. Uh, you know, I've got a chance to take a picture with every one of them, and uh, you know, it's just uh, it's a special experience and it's something that I, and I'll always remember. It's it's unique especially with this year and the dead period that we had, that we had, um, you know, an opportunity. And, you know, we tried to capitalize on that uh, you know, throughout the, the month of May. And, you know, even tonight, uh, you know, here, which is in a time of, you know, real craziness with the recruiting and, and all the kids that we've had on, on campus, uh, um, you know, to take a take a, a little bit of time out. And, uh, you know, the folks on our youth, uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very important, not only for now, but for the future. How did this idea of the youth tour come about? And is it something you guys may consider doing next year? I know that you said the timeline would be a little different. Yeah, I mean, really, we're sitting around and uh, thinking about what we could do. You know, there's so many, so many things about what you can't do. We had a dead period, um, you know, that you know, we couldn't have anybody on campus. Our coaches couldn't go off campus to high schools uh, to, for, for recruiting, but, uh, you know, we had time. And you know, that's one of the things that you rarely ever have in this profession. And but we had time, and I wanted to make sure that we utilize that time to make an impact. And uh, so, you know, you, you saw that you know, across the country, the, the, there were camps that were going on, and you know, kids that were were, that were uh, you know, able to go out and, and compete and, and do different things. So we wanted to focus on the group that we could uh, go and, and make an impact with, and that was that was with the second to, you know, second graders to the eighth graders and. That's what we've been able to do, and it's, it's been been a great great time. You're, you're so busy recruiting and these, these clinics and things like that. What kind of feedback have you gotten from the strength staff, other staff, about what the current players are doing? Oh, well, that's way well, we've been we've been really active with them as well. You know, I mean, we we try to. Uh, whether it's with our, our position meetings that we've been able to do, you were meeting, we're meeting an hour a week. Uh, you know, our coaches are, are present in a lot of the workouts of what we're doing, and that's something that you know, I think is important. You know, you, you know, yes, recruiting is important uh, uh, with, with every minute that we get, but also continuing to build the relationships with our current players and uh, uh, you know, helping, helping develop them and prepare them for what's coming here this fall. And it all works together. And, uh, and I'm excited about where we are. We still have a ton of work to do getting ready for 
fall camp that's ahead. But I mean, our guys, uh, you, you can see the you can see the growth, and that's something that's critical for us. And uh, but they're they're investing at a high level, and uh, I'm looking forward to what the future holds. What was this month been like? I mean, you waited so long for kind of June 1st, and we saw your excitement that night just getting to be able to finally get those kids back. I know you had kind of the carousel of visitors on one. Uh, there's, uh, uh, I told you at the, at the beginning that we were going to waste a moment. I don't think there's been many uh, many moments that have, that have uh, gone by without uh, without us having kids here or uh, you know the, the camp circuit that we've been on. It's uh, it's been wonderful and uh, really uh, been a great reception and uh, you know it's been been great you know, just expanding uh, expanding those relationships and showing uh, you know showing what Florida State football is all about and. As we go through this recruiting process, as we go through the developmental process with our current players, I mean, it's um, you know, we're trying to maximize every day, and uh, you know, it's a uh, it's been a fun it's been a fun month. It's been a uh, you know, say exhausting month would would probably be about right, but uh, uh, it's one that uh, you know we were looking forward to it and uh, really pleased with how it's gone. With the amount of hours you guys have put in, being attentive to recruits, so the coaching staff. I guess what have you seen from the coaching staff, support staff, and, and their attentiveness this month? Yeah, I mean it's you know the, the culture, the culture that we have here is. I mean you know, we we have a, a group of uh, staff personnel. I mean they're all they're led from the heart, and the relationships are critical. Not not only with the recruits, but like I said, with our current players, and just seeing that that continued investment, um, you know, building those relationships, uh, you know, and building relationships together. You know, one of the you know, probably uh, unforeseen uh, benefits of the tour that we went on in the youth camps was we got time to spend together as a staff. That that was limited even in the last year of what we could do. Um, but I mean, it's been a real joy just seeing our staff come together, continue to bond, continue to grow. Uh, you know, we've had some some additions that have come into the staff that have really, I think, uh, done an exceptional job, and um, you know, we're just co continuing to grow together. Coach, wanted to ask you about the Supreme Court decision today. Just uh, how do you think college athletics will, will change from it being impacted? I mean, Florida's a little bit ahead anyways because we have the NIL legislation, but just uh, your thoughts on today. Well, honestly, I got an email about it, but I've been, been pretty busy all day, so I'm going <laughs> to get my debriefing here tonight. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, the NIL, you know, knowing that, uh, uh, you know, being being very proactive in that with our Apex program and the education of our student athletes, uh, it's been important. It's been, I think, it's given us a great advantage. Uh, we're looking forward to July 1st and uh, you, know, the, you know the things that are ahead for uh, being able to, to provide the best opportunity for for all uh, of the student athletes here at Florida State to have the best experience they can and um, you know to be able to uh, to, to maximize you know, their opportunity you know, you know, here as a student athlete. Did you know when you were assistant coach? Like, I want to be super involved with recruiting every step of the way, or is that something that you learned when you became a I mean, I love it. I love meeting people. I love relationships. I mean, that's what that's what it's all about. When it comes to football and you know, being able to put together a team, and, you know, just to go out there and you identify the right fit, to be able to, to see something, you know, in a young man that you know is going to bring value to your program, you know, not only on the field, but off the field. And, um, you know, I just – something I've got a passion for and uh, you know I love the X's and O's of football I mean that's something that you know is, has been great but you'll know, be able to put uh, put the right people in place whether it's a coaching staff whether it's you know the uh, individual prospect I mean it's that's that's where I get a lot of joy and then seeing that development throughout the throughout the process it's uh, I wouldn't really want it any other way to kind of follow up on that you know as soon as you guys have hit the road back to the youth camp of course the big kids the actual recruits you guys have such a big high turnouts just how gratifying has it been to see that there are people anxious to hear your message and what you guys have to say about Florida State? Well, I mean, you know, Florida State is, a, is an incredible place, and we are we have an incredible program. I mean, there's a lot of excitement about uh, you know where we're going, and you know there's been I mean there have been some, some tough years that we've had to had to work through, a lot of change, but uh, you know it provides a great opportunity moving forward. And, uh, you know, being able to share that message, being able to uh, uh, get in, get into the state, into the communities, and then you know, you obviously opening the doors here during recruiting, and for the kids that have come to to, to really get to experience it, uh, you know, uh, in their own right, it is, it's just uh, it's been exceptional in, in a variety of different ways, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that uh, that we are here at this point, and uh, we're looking forward to what the future holds. Does she have any idea of how many high schools she does to interact with during this? So uh, I will say, I mean, we were talking about it earlier today, and you know, today kind of being the last camp clinic, uh, it'd be probably over 7,500 youth and high school uh, uh, student, uh, 
kids combined, and so you know probably around 3,500 uh, you know high schoolers that uh, have been on campus um, you know through a camp. So and that's not even counting just the unofficials that um, that have come through. So it's it's been special, and it's been a great month. And, we're not done yet. We got uh, you still got another you know, rest of the week to finish up, but um, it's, it's been a great, great turnout. Did you get to meet many of the high school head coaches and assistants? Well, really, you know, that's for coming on campus. We did, we had, could we could have no interaction during the youth camps when we were in the communities. Uh, we we made sure we called them and let them know that we were going to be there, but that they couldn't. You know, we couldn't have any interaction with them. We wanted them to know that we were investing in the youth. Uh, but uh, I actually didn't get to meet any of them when I was there. But we had a lot of them because of that that have brought their teams here. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, they, they see that we care. And um, when, you, when you have those, those actions, it's, it's been great to get those coaches that have come up on campus and willing to make the sacrifice to bring their kids to, to have their teams. Uh, you see what's going on at Florida State. And, uh, I think a lot of that's because of you know, what, we were, what we were willing to do uh, when we had our time. All right, guys, thanks so much. Thanks, Coach. Hey, guys.